uh, nobody really wants oh, oh. a win against a compromised team. And alam natin ang Blacklist International, they have nothing to prove. They are world champions. But they do not want to parang get wins na parang may masasabi pa yung mga ibang tao na ah kasi wala si ganito, ah kasi may ganito, ganyan. And right now, this is a fair match between, uh, not that the other ones are unfair of course, but this is like the main rosters of both NXP and Blacklist International. And I can't help but to hype this up and be happy about it considering that this is the match na talagang inaabangan natin na mangyari na full roster both squads. So we're just waiting for the pause to be resolved. Nagaayos lang sila ng mga devices nila sa bootcamp nila. And hopefully, this game will be explosive considering na men, game number three na one more win for Blacklist International and they will continue in the winner's bracket. So, para sa mga NXP fans dyan na medyo kinakabahan na uh, kahit matalo po sila sa game number three, syempre para sa inyo wag naman sana uh, may loser's bracket pa po tayo guys. So yeah. pwedeng pwede pang bumawi sa loser's bracket ang mga favorite teams nyo if they're coming from the winner's bracket. Meron po tayong second lives kapag sa winner's bracket ka natalo. Yeah. Any chance for na nakita mo ba kung ano, ano yung final thing configuration? Like we're able to see if the Sicilian was going to the gold lane or not? So, hindi ko nakita yung hindi, na yun. Actually, uh, nag-quick sweep lang ako ng player names. Nakita ko yung pangalan, tapos biglang bumalik na sa akin yung gaffe. <laughs> yung hinanap ko lang talaga sa H2 ba yun? Sa H2 ba yung link? Oo, oh, sa H2 ba yun? Ginan ako lang yun. Kasi may link, men. Alright. Pag may nakita kang link sa NXP, parang ang hirap namang hindi isipin na si H2 yung gagamit, gagamit ng link na yun, di ba? We already know that. Uh-oh. But you know what? Let's see it for ourselves once again as we enter game number three between NXPE and Blacklist International. Let's go to the land of Gone. It is indeed H2 on that lane and Donut on a gold lane, Cecilia. Man! Nathan, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. You're going to be able to get out of here. You're going to be able to get out of here. You're going to be able to ano para sa team mo at hindi lang na para sa team eh para sa bansa eh again kung sino mang mananalo dito at the end of our Seaball 2022 National Team Selection Tournament ay madadagdag sa pool ng Seaball players natin and you gotta respect no matter who you support uh, as a team this kind of dedication na uh, despite all that you're going through you're still in the game man yeah, and right now, no, Yelly Hayes a uh, little bit low on the HP side. Great aggression coming in from Oh My Venus. And we are looking at a Haji Edith pick na nakita na natin in action yesterday. Really great on this Edith pick. I feel like one of the first few pro players in the country to actually have that Edith in his pocket picks right now in the current meta. Dominic pala ang gagamit course na ating makita but first blood will go to the Sicilian with H2O burning that Tempest of Blades. Next play Evos na naman ang makakakuha ng first blood. Let's start here for NXP but again they have to amp up this tempo kaya importante na nakuha nila yung first blood. Again this is an Aldous that they're up against. Not even the late game Aldous, it's an early game Aldous kung nasakamay ni Wise. One and only. But he's in Yeah, Blacklist looking to end this turtle, pero pressure from Balikito sa NXP. Retri battle, masesecure ni Wise. Nice ultimate coming in kay Venus. Apple Pisha with the Guiding Wind. Walang mamamatay in that fight. But the turtle will be going to the hands of Blacklist International. What is the game so far? Close game. Donut, 2 minutes and 40 seconds in, already has that Clock of Destiny. It's a really, really fast build. Para sa COD. Already, of yeah, course, and... yeah, staying in the gold lane. Uh, less gold requirement. Uh, mas mabilis siya makaka-build ng items dito. And that means, nakaka-maximize talaga siya ng mga last hits. Doon sa siege, min- uh, sa siege minions and just the minions in general sa lane niya. 
Yeah, and it is a uh, very, let's say, you the bass impact is very useful in terms of glass hitting, no? Pero cadenza, overextending near the gold thing. Di na nga tumingin si Brody, pre. Fumade away na lang si Aul. <laughs> Fade away basic attack from the Brody. And now, even ball game. Pero malapit pa rin ang gold, Black is Internatus, and nakuha nila yung unang turtle of the game. Of course, they'll have the slight lead, Oreshi versus Dominic here in the explanation. Yep, Oreshi regening a little bit of damage there. And that's just a power oh. range job, but this is a 2v4. Parating na rin si Venus. Here comes the contact case paint, Haji Boy pa rin, the slow in the burn! Ultimate coming in, real world manipulation, H2O, masasa pa! Del Rosario, and that is just two kills. Look at that, Blackness International. Mukhang kukuha pa sila ng plating dito sa cold lane. A quick and punishing rotation and response from Blackless International. Good attempt by Next Play Evos to get more kills there. But this is why we're seeing Brody as one of the top picks right now in the scene. Yung second skill stun niya talaga. Sobrang malaking bagay. And paired up with the great reaction of Haji. Talik him up to get in to the playing field. Of course, on my Venus, great timing as well for the real world manipulation. What, what, what looked like to be a good chance for NXP looked oh, like a better response so for Blacklist. Apple Pizza coming in with Circling Eagle, but Easy is just being a little bit there. That's a one for one slain. in the mid lane. Clutch ultimate, clutch rap coming in from Haji. One for one trade. Beautiful setup there. Para kay Kenneth Castro Cadenza getting that initial ejector toss to open up that one for one trade for next play Evos. Sure, next play Evos would have gotten, uh, would have been happier to get out of that na 1 0 in this na naging trade. But at this point, they'll just be happy being able to get kills to keep themselves close into the game. As five minutes in, getting close to a 2,000 plus gold lead, getting close to 3,000, and gold lead leader on Blacklist International. And Chad Talisman picked up by Apple Pisha. Turtle is already up as well. Blacklist International, four people around that turtle. Meron silang na established na pressure dito. Pwedeng pwede nilang gulate ng NXPE. Now, Dominic, may kita si Oreshi. Hindi siya mana knock up. And now, he, Oreshi's really low. And this is really bad for Next Play Evos, considering the Blacklist International would want to take this turtle for themselves. H2O looking for a steal here. Would go for the pinch boys. A boy crystal slow coming in from Venus. Real world manipulation to zone out all of the members of Next Play Evos. Red and this is a free turtle, turtle coming in for Blacklist International. Oh. Another fade away coming in from the Brody. And that's two kills. No, three kills for Owl as they try to take down the mid lane. Oh, uh, could be another Adenza. one, Sadenza. Oh, no. One more. Is it Tadama? The Slinger! Later in, coming in from Venus will finish him off. And hey, now H2 will take a little bit of damage. But yun na yung trade. Nalamang naman ng Black Reserve National. 4,000 now is the gold lead, NXTE. Of course, doing what they can to play safe, but they're just getting surprised by Blacklist International using and committing flickers to just get setups for their abilities. Tempest of Blade oh, Force. No, oh, no! Finishes off H2, and then Rosario once again with a one man punch. Blue now, Team Blacklist has been International destroyed. Now ahead. Del Rosario finishing off the kill there on to Salonga. Dominic Delicado, in Havel Dito, in Lagronio. Yeah, Oreshi in front of four people. Delicado, kahit malaking dragon. Here comes the real world manipulation. Oh. A lot of damage down, but nice sanguine claws. Oh. Coming in from Donut. Mega kill na naman kay Brody oh. Dito. 4 1 3. Owl is dealing so much damage. Blacklist International now ahead by 6,000 gold. 4, 1, and 3 for Lee Howard Gonzalez. Nagwawala na ang Brody ng Blacklist International. Next play, Evos. Nakita mo, sinusubukan nila, ano eh, ibagalin on tayo yung tempo. Try to get a little bit more control back. Things are starting to get out of hand. Pero out of nowhere, Blacklist International individually would pull out plays. NXPE, tingnan natin kung makakapag-depensa sila. And if they can hold on to get a little bit more control of the game. Hinanap din nila mga possibilities na baka maka-split ko si H2 pero dito sa purple. Oh no! Blue team hero oh. has 
Na huli pa nga si Apple Pisha pero si Haji that's a lot of damage coming in from the bats beats in the impact pero puno na ang kanyang rat stacks ni respeto ito the next play Evo so they're gonna give Red out the turtle once again the, the Blacklist Blue International as the lead grows more and more in favor of Blacklist Good news here for NXP Evo as mukhang sumasakit na din talaga ang damage ng Sicilian nila Donut here is gonna be the X Factor at this point in the game Good minion wave management. Maklir lang yung mga minion waves para paglalaban ng Blacklist International mas malapit sa base. Oh, Kadenza with the ejector. Dominic on the back line. Universe manipulation. Maraming matatamaan pero unang babagsak ang isang miyembro ng Blacklist International. It's a 4-4-1 against a 4-4-2. Maraming matatamaan pero unang babagsak ang isang miyembro ng Blacklist International. It's a 4-4-1 at ikakancel ang contract Chase Fate. Next day, Eagles finally getting a 1-4-0 trade. Castro with the pick-off on to Soto. That ejector to start everything off. And great play there by Next Play Evos. Blue team Being able to dance around, destroyed. avoid the damage they needed to avoid. A good call there by Wise to cancel the chase fade. Could have been a kill for Oreshi, but it's delicate na yun, sa loob na yun ng base. Oh, no, Cadenza going in for the concealed play, no? Pero medyo na telegraph agad ng Blacklist International. Now, topside H2 going for the split push. Considering na wala pa pala silang tore na nakukuha, this is really bad for next play Evos. They need to make sure that they alleviate some map pressure by taking turrets. Al with the Hunter Strike now. Uy! Blacklist International, conceal play by Haji, pero nakita ng next play Evo. Yep, and purple buff, maaagaw mula sa Ling. H2, medyo nahila. Nagkaroon ng CCJ, nagpagsak na nga si Dan Pontalonga. And now Ureshi going into the backline. Ang dami nga tinatakil na damage. Look at the damage coming in from the Brody. Torn apart memory, nagamit na. Pero si Bataanon, ang sunod ng Blacklist International. And now two people are down for next play Evo's Blacklist. They're looking to push mid lane. Haji goes in with the knock-up combo. Doon na at delikado at hindi siya makakaganti ng return kill even with the bats impact landing the Tenza nagahanap ng play pero wala na siyang damage either na kasama Lord sinisimulan ng Blacklist International at mukhang mahukuha ng lead Great positioning and timing for Haji back to back great crowd control pick off yung dun sa may purple buff ni H2 kung saan niya sinubukan mag bench poise tumalang dun sa pader para ma ma makalapit siya, para ma-retry niya yung purple buff niya. Haji, nakabantay na, nakita niya, nag-charge up na siya nung, uh, nung stun niya, yung knock-up niya. And mid-air or just when he was about to land on the wall, natamaan. Stopping that, knocking up H2, opening up the burst damage and the crowd control chain. And Blacklist International is in marching with the Lord. And look at this, the damage coming in from real world manipulation. You gotta respect that zone. That's one the inhibitor third down for next day Evo's mid lane already open. But nice clear speed coming in from NXPT, taking down that Lord. The lawang inhibitor turret lamang ang nakuha ng Blacklist International. Pero napakalaki na po ng ating gold lead. 11,000 ang gold lead ng Blacklist International 11 minutes in. At medyo bad just yun para sa NXPE. Ang tanging iniintay na lamang nila ay ang damage na nanggagaling kay Donut. Yeah. Now Blacklist have full control of the NXP EVOS jungle. Alam nila gaano kaimportante ang purple buff para sa Ling ni H2. Three man positioning. Now gonna be four. But I think meron na may nakita din si H2. So, konting galaw. Tignan natin. Here's the conceal play. Mula kay Haji, nagahanap ng target, nanak up dito si H2, Tempest of Blades, ginamit para makabitay ng 40 Horas, pero in turret muna ang inatake ng Blacklist International. Here comes the Torn Apart Memory, wala siyang mapapatay na isa, pero lima pa rin ang buhay para sa side ng Blacklist International. Ang Blades na atang sunod, Ureshi, napakalow ng kanyang HP, nabalibag dito si Owl, at si Owl matatama ng Sir Tee, ganun sa backside, shutdown, manggagaling dito, kaya po ipi siya, pero babagsak din siya with the inward manipulation, the double kill for Zed Rosalio, isa atang call dito ng Blacklist International. National in Game 3 goes to Blacklist International against next play Evos. Victory! And that is the series. Blacklist International taking the win. Playing like the champions they are. But again, despite everything that happened to them, you can just 
say nothing bad about Next Play Evos. They played against champions and they played with the heart of champions. Next Play Evos against all that that happened to them kahapon. H2, of course, still coming, coming back. Still trying to play, doing his absolute best. All the respect to NXP. This is what you love to see. Sa mga posibleng maging representatives ng bansa natin sa esports to be the next Sable team. Playing like champions, Blacklist International and NXP showing the heart of champions. What it means to be part of Sable. What it means for these players to play. It's a great showing but of course at the end, dominating once again para sa Blacklist International. Paquito still undefeated. Wise still a terror on the Aldos. But this was such a great game for one of their new players that they brought in para sa Seabol National Team Selection, Lee Howard Gonzalez on the uh, on the Owl. Or Owl on, on the, the Brody. Brody. <laughs> MVP-worthy performance. Sobrang agresibo niya dito. 